Howdy partner. So you want to see how the white windows that we painted black held up after one year? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to review this window that we painted black about 13, 14 months ago. If you haven't already, go to the bottom right, hit the subscribe button, and that'll take you to our full channel of videos. And in there, you'll find a video on how to paint white windows black, as well as these muntins in there so check that out it's got lots of views and it really shows you how to walk through it so we did that and i got a lot of comments a lot of likes and i appreciate the comments but tons of people asking a question of how does it hold up well we're now well past a year or a little past a year so we're going to see this window gets a lot of sunlight that's why i'm testing this one it's the most sunlight of the house it's westward facing so it gets the intense heat we're here in northern florida so we get temperatures near 100 or into the low 100 uh in the summer and then it gets into the teens in the winter so this has seen all sorts of temperatures and we're going to see how this holds up so basically if you watch the whole other video of installing it we spray painted these windows and then we went ahead and used electrical tape specifically scotch super 88 tape i'll go ahead and link that in the description but this is what is actually covering the white grids that are inside the glass so check out that video for a whole tutorial but now what we're going to do is we're going to remove one of these grids to see how good it's stuck and to see how hard it is to clean it back because we wanted to make these windows white again we just ripped these off and repaint them so let's check this out so i'm going to go ahead and start peeling and i'll tell you right now from this initial peel i've never done this before i have no idea how it's going to work um it is really sticky and it's looking like it's leaving a little residue right there so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean off that residue with a little bit of Goo Gone. So Goo Gone is a nice spraying uh, anti-stick. And I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if that's going to be hard to get off or if that's going to stick or what. So it looks like the tape melted a little bit here. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. I've also got a paper towel as well as a razor blade scraper. So with just a paper towel on the bottom part, we're doing nothing. We're doing nothing. It's really there. Now I should have mentioned is the tape was still very malleable. It was not at all stiff or hard. So it definitely, it kind of melted into that window. I'm gonna take a razor blade here. And with the razor blade, you see I'm kind of smearing that melted black that almost dyed the window. Not necessarily hard, and this razor blade was not brand new, but it's cleaning up. And it's melting a little bit there. Let's go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna wipe it up with a paper towel. Really messy. To show you a little bit more, if I was to peel off more, it is very sticky on there and it's sort of melted. But if you want it to go back to normal, you can definitely clean this back to normal. It's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, but it can be done. So there you go, a lot of questions. There's a one year review of how it works. I would say this tape is a sticky stuck on here, maybe more so than when I originally installed it. And it wasn't that bad to actually clean. If you had a fresh razor blade, you'd probably be able to clean off that window pretty quickly. So if you want to do this, you can reverse it back to white. Again, thanks for tuning in, Mr. Gray's How To. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've got any other questions or any other household tips and tricks you want to see, put them in the comment box. Thanks for watching.